Now now we've vaccinated 90% of the old people. Uh, 90% of the people over 65 in America have gotten at least one jab. 80% and it's growing have gotten double double jabbed. So they're fully vaccinated. So the most vulnerable population is protected. Um, or if they haven't gotten the jab, there's a reason for it, right? They've chosen, they can't, and therefore they'll take the appropriate precautions or they just don't believe in it. And that's, that's freedom. That's their choice. They'll live with the consequences one way or the other. But what we're hearing from Fauci right now, this is a quote, is that the fact is, if you get infected, even if you are without symptoms, you very well may infect another person who may be vulnerable. Okay, we know that's true. But then he says, so in essence, you are encroaching on their individual rights. <laughs> so if you get it, if you've been vaccinated, but you get it and you have the virus in your nose and you give it to somebody else who is not vaccinated, Fauci's message is you're encroaching on their individual rights. How are we supposed to deal with that? It's a very strange mindset. Uh, we have lived with uh, infectious diseases for hundreds and thousands of years. And this idea that we blame the person who is infected another person, that's something that we should never, ever, ever do. Uh, infectious diseases is not about blame uh, or fear. So that's that's uh, that's wrong thinking. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing I can say about it. Well, the I mean, the unvaccinated are the ones who are getting sick, right? It's the the people who are vaccinated who are getting these breakthrough infections. First of all, the numbers are very low, which you wouldn't know to watch the news right now. Axios had a report pointing out that less than zero point one percent of vaccinated Americans are testing positive for COVID-19. So it's uh, 164 million Americans have been vaccinated. They say around 125,000 people have tested positive for breakthrough infections uh, in about 38 states. Again, that represents less than 0.08% of those who have been vaccinated and 0.001% have died. So, you know, your, your risks of getting this thing, if you've been vaccinated, are still extremely low. And then when you get it, your risks of getting seriously sick from it are even lower. And your risks of dying if you've been vaccinated are next to nothing. So this is about the people who have chosen not to get vaccinated, falling subject to the to the Delta variant. And the CDC's messaging is somehow the rest of us who've been vaccinated have an obligation to protect them by masking up now, universal masking. And your thoughts on that are what? Well, if somebody doesn't want to get vaccinated, that's their uh, their respons- their, their own responsibility to, uh, for doing that. And if they're old, I think they made a the wrong decision. But uh, that's a decision that they can make. But they shouldn't then demand that other people uh, put masks on to protect them, uh, especially since uh, there's not much evidence uh, about masks, actually. So... Uh, the, the key thing we should do is to uh, encourage all people to uh, get uh, the vaccines. If they got only one shot, they should be encouraged to get the second if it was Pfizer or Moderna. Uh, and the way to do that is not through uh, mandates or vaccine passports, because public health should be based on trust. So um, they should be encouraged to do so. We should, uh, And if there are people who want it, who haven't gotten it yet, maybe because they are homeless and so on, uh, then we should have more outreach as efforts to uh, to get the vaccines to them, but uh, to put masks on uh, on people or children, for example, that's uh, um, that's not the right way to do this. It's not. I saw you. You said health. something like you you had an alternative way of referring to masks on children that you proposed. What what do you think people should be saying? Uh, children should not wear masks. I think at all. Uh, I don't think it's good for them. Uh, if we look at, uh, I mean, I know, for example, uh, Fauci was arguing for it, but I think that was a triple stumble he made because one, uh, there is no absolutely no evidence that mass works on children. There is no scientific evidence. Uh, wow. Secondly, even if they did work, children are at a minuscule risk for mortality and lo- very low risk from uh, severe disease. Third, uh, they don't transmit it to other people. They're not efficient transmitters to other people. 
we know that the children do not transmit it very much. So for example, teachers are much more likely to get infected by a fellow teacher than by students. Mm -hmm. So all those three things by itself would argue that uh, we should not wear masks on, on children. So I find it very, very surprising this push to mask children in schools. Yeah, uh, we also I know, I, know I, that you, you retweeted an op-ed calling for this change saying, instead of saying wear a mask, we need to say, have their breathing obstructed. <laughs> Kids need to have their breathing obstructed in order to attend school, which is where they're going.